hey guys welcome back to my channel for another video if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so guys in today's video i'm gonna basically go through some steps for you or with you to basically know how to get that hydrated hair and that length okay so i start this video off with my hair in these plaits and my hair have been in these plaits for five days and I just want to show you guys how hydrated my hair is after five five days of using the right products on my wash day my braids are hydrated for five days so now it's time to take it down but I just want to like come in first and show you guys how hydrated my my braids are my hair is moving like do you see that okay you I, I know you see that okay this is what i'm going to teach you guys how to achieve hydrated hair in this video and hydrated hair will also lead to length okay length retention so if this is a video for you you're interested in this video please continue watching So I put my I took my braids down and this is how my hair is looking. It's feeling super hydrated. It's bouncy, even though I separated a lot. I never used to separate my hair, but my sister told me that you know what, girl, separate your hair because when you don't separate your hair, you look like a five-year-old kid. Okay, so now I'm separating it, um, showing the volume and all of that, but. You can see the shine on my hair so guys let's get into this so the first thing we want to build a regimen together I think we should talk about building a proper regimen for your hair so that you can see the results you don't want to be doing washing your hair all the time taking care of your hair and you're not seeing any results so we're going to talk about some steps that you need to be doing in order to see results in your hair first we want to talk about your wash day your wash day is very important your wash day should consist of uh you don't have to pre-poo because when you're deep when you're deep conditioning your hair it's kind of a pre-poo pre-poo is like um for me it's like softening up the hair getting your hair ready for the wash but i can also do that when i'm deep conditioning my hair so normally i will wash my hair before i start deep conditioning so i'm either going to use a cleansing herb to do this or i'm going to use shampoo i normally use a shampoo anyways because my scalp i have um dry scalp and sometimes my scalp will flake so I will need like a cleansing shampoo that is going to get rid of all those product buildup of my scalp however for you you don't have to use shampoo every wash day as I said before you can do like a co-wash and then you deep condition it after or you can deep condition in with your hair like that but make sure you wet it up first and then you co-wash after it doesn't matter what step you take but make sure that you are actually um, cleansing your hair and deep conditioning your hair deep condition the step towards deep conditioning is very very important guys I rather use Ayurvedic herbs doing this step because Ayurvedic herbs have show like they have shown me that my hair can be better than how it was before my, the Ayurvedic herbs has changed my entire like hair out my outlook on my hair i don't think my hair is like coarse anymore dry i don't feel like i cannot be bothered with my hair my hair is super super hydrated just by adding that that was like one of the major thing that i was missing in my hair care when i before i started to like fully taking care of my hair i was not deep conditioning a lot and i know that some of you guys can like attest to this that you're guilty of not deep conditioning regularly 
if you can attest to this just comment down below and like leave an emoji or something to let me know that we are on the same page okay so yes yeah, so this was what i was missing deep conditioning was what i was really really missing in my hair care regimen and um i was also missing ayurvedic herbs i never used to use this much ayurvedic herbs in my hair care regimen before so after i start using it as deep conditioners i realized how important it is to deep condition because guys what deep condition does especially as a low parasitic girl like me i have to deep condition with heat because what it will do it will open the cuticle of my hair and then it, the product will be able to like marinate it's like when you season up meat and you cover it up and you just the meat just the seasoning just start to soak into the meat and when you eat that meat it's like wow like you're in heaven right so it's just the same thing with your hair when you deep condition your hair and you cover your hair with a heat cap for it to like marinate into your strands guys you're going to see a huge huge difference because when it go into this it through the cart through the cuticles into the cortex that is when it's going to start to work its way into the like throughout the strands of your hair and like do what it's supposed to do for your hair low parasite girls we need to add heat to our hair to open our cuticles and to seal in the cuticle we need to actually finish our wash day with cool water like as for me that's how i have to finish my wash day to close the cuticle with um cool water if you want to know more about your hair cuticles how to open them i will leave a video up above for you guys to go check that out i already have a video and that so we won't be going into cuticle um in this video which is very important by the way because if you don't know about cuticle then you won't know how to deep condition right so okay so deep condition with heat so that the the product can like work its way into the cuticle and guys don't forget that some people might sleep with the deep conditioner on but as for me I did it once and I don't think it's that necessary to sleep with it on and sometimes it might your yeah, bonnet might like fall off while you're sleeping if you don't have one of those drawstring bonnets but by the way guys if you don't have a drawstring bonnet I have a link to drawstring bonnets down below in my description box so if you want to go check them out and get yourself your drawstring bonnet because this is also a part of your hair care regimen to have luscious hair yes as I was saying you don't have to deep condition for like two or three hours you can deep condition for like um, 15 20 30 40 minutes um, it depends on how your day is going you can deep condition while you're doing other stuff right so it depends if you are in a rush and you don't want your lash your wash day to be long you can have your hair um, for 15 minutes covered with a heat cap or a plastic bag like everybody else I use plastic bag grocery bag is like my thing to use to deep to cover my hair for deep conditioning after you finish deep conditioning your hair you need to rinse that out and if you're adding herbs as your deep conditioner guys you're gonna want to like follow up with uh, an inexpensive conditioner to like follow up and to like rinse all those bits out of your hair sometimes it depends on what type of herbs i use i don't really follow up with a deep con with a uh, another conditioner a rinse out conditioner because i don't mind having some grains in my hair it's not a big deal for me and i feel like i retain a lot of moisture with the grains in my hair as well just as shebe shebe retain moisture in your hair because of the grains that is that's in the shebe that's what retain the, mo the moisture and, and length retention right that's how you get that the length retention from the shebe so i normally leave it in some time but you don't have to it depends on you so you rinse that out you rinse it out your leave it your leave in and then you want to you move on to one of the most important step and this step is going to help you to have length retention and the step is how you're going to keep your hair moisturized your styling after you finish all that process of washing it now it's time to style it and this 
this is very important the way you layer your products to see how long the moisture and the hydration is going to last throughout the week so at the start of the video you saw that my hair was super hydrated after five days and I took it out and guys you can see how my hair is moving like this and I only really use one product to achieve this so just to let you know guys that at, when you just start your hair care regimen you won't sometimes you won't have hydrated hair with one product um, you're gonna have to use several products to layer your hair but when you reach a point in your hair care journey where your hair is super um, healthy and strong you will have hair like this and you will only need one product to achieve hair like this okay so it's a long process because this take took a long time for me to like achieve this type of moisture level in my hair hydration level in my hair i think i achieved this this about um this year actually last year i did not have this much hydration and moisture in my hair and i did not have the um the moisture being locked in from wash day to wash day and i can attest that guys it's because of the deep conditioning using ayurvedic herbs and knowing how to layer my products this is this make a huge 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 difference so let's talk about styling your hair styling your hair guys you don't want to use products that will not like work for your hair you have to have a routine or a method of retaining moisture this is very very important because this is what going to have your hair hydrated throughout the the week if you wash your hair every seven days you know once a week like myself you're going to need a moisturizing product so you're going to need a moisturizing cream or a leave-in conditioner that is very moisturizing right preferably one that have Ayurvedic herbs in it so you can also get some strengthening ag agent from that moisturizer or that leave-in conditioner and before you go any further guys don't forget to head down below and check out some of my Ayurvedic herbs um, and all the different things that I have in my store that are on sale of course that will give you hydration and moisture in your hair actually doing your styling use a leave-in that is moisturizing and then you're going to go in with your cre your um cream which can be a butter cream or you're gonna go in with your oil so you can use l o c method right so it's liquid oil cream which is the liquid can be like a liquid leave-in or you can use water your your oil and then you co you cover that or layer that with a cream I don't use that method never did use that method my method is strictly L C so I use liquid and a cream I don't layer my hair too many times for my hair to be moisturized I can use one right now I can use one one product to get my hair moisturized but the two main method in the natural hair community is LOC and LCO right but for me I don't really follow the trend so I find my own method which works for me and the method that works for me is the LC which is the liquid and the cream and my liquid most times is water yes most time my liquid is water and or a leave-in conditioner a, like a liquidy leave-in conditioner and then the most important thing that changed the moisture for me is butters butters works better for my hair than oil sealing my hair with butter butters are thicker oil creamy oil 
they are condensed so they are very creamy and thick those seal in the moisture they're heavy oils they seal in the moisture better for me than using a regular oil and castor oil is very thick so that oil is the only oil that kind of really help me a lot but butters are what I use to seal in that moisture and to like seal the moisture in the ends of my hair I use butters so I use my liquid and then I use butters then guys after you use that you're going to have hydrated hair okay so guys that's the tip that I have for you today let me know what you think down below guys and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys